We know you have her. Please, we just want to... Your... Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Sweetie, be careful! He's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! this to happen. Those poor boys were looking for their little sister, Marina, the girl who's staying with me. This is all my fault, but I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Best avoid that trap. Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the uh, aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Perhaps that's why I've survived so long, where more fearsome peers have not. You would be wise to look past the seeming of things, if you intend to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it, to bargain. A more innocent name than some I could call her, but it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind have hidden among us since the first darkness and their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge, if you're fool enough to pay their price. A powerful friend, a terrible foe, that 
I cannot decide for you. For my part, I need her knowledge. The thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to flush him out, I'll pay whatever price she asks. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. I don't think that I will. Questions are free. Answers are not. Better to learn that before you meet the Lady of the House. Go ahead. The Lady of the House awaits. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Aunt Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You talk ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut. Or things will get messy. The choice is yours. There's really no good decision to be made here. What is it? What's going on? You want to play it like that? Fine. Yes, girl. I killed your brothers. That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough! Away with you. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Assaults your senses. Forever. 
forever dauntless. your new friends. Bye-bye. I can't have gone far. On my way. Can't afford to let up.
moving. Lady of the House awaits.
You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Oh, the cocky ones are my favorite to chew on. Keep going, Petal, and you'll find out. Closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Please. Please. What is this place? You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. You see the gallery, its walls lined with the hag's victims, their bodies and minds twisted beyond ruin. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Petal. The door stays silent. The door shudders, imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. You feel the presence within shrink, terrified. Don't. You feel the barest hint of luck. See their chances. Yes, Franti. 
Hurt my magic. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Oh! <clears throat> Trap. 
Patched up. Pushing on. Taking my time in the shadows.
out now. I'll be done. Bloody clever clubs! Thank the gods! favors the fearless.
This is my time. Can't give up. Magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep, and if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Inside the pouch you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is Ignan for what is my name? The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. Excellent. Now repeat my instructions back to me, please. Humor me. I need to be absolutely certain you understand. And next? Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. No 
no, no. You start at the bottom right corner. Remember to play them clockwise. After that? Correct. And so we have gone through the necessary steps again. Let's hope practice makes perfect in the end. Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. This is the flute Gail kept on his person. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. The flute awaits with bated breath. You did it! <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. My hands are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime... Thank you. Oh. It's a relief to be back on beautiful Faerun. The dreariness of the fugue plane oppresses one's soul so very quickly. Now, I believe adventure awaits. Or misadventure, perhaps. <laughs> hmm. Shall we? I'm so stupid! How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child! It is worth some coin. Really? 
That's... My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. Coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> Not even a little bit, but I will be. We were just kids when we met. <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you back.
Not for communal, you... I can't believe it didn't work. That all of this was for nothing. What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? He's not a creature. He's my husband. I wanted him back. Back the way he was, not this. No, don't! Connor! Don't. Still on my feet. Sleep would do me wonders. Lady of the house. Fate spins along. Dost thou require a new ally? Thou must reach. This is the price of balance. Well counted. I recommend. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Ever since. 
Since we shared each other's flesh, I've caught you looking at me with lidded eyes. And either like a coward or a fool, you tremble. Perhaps the parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps... Perhaps you still long for my taste. Just when my tongue was craving a second sample. Chuk. To think you'd starve yourself while gazing at a feast luscious as this. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother... Forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, mother, I should add. The mother superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. Mm. 